When you walk around the Grasslands series display, you'll notice taxidermy, paintings, and drawings, and they're all the creation of artist Colin Starkevich. I paint wildlife mostly all throughout Alberta, but the Grasslands holds a special place in my heart, and I know it's, it's my muse, and I want to um, portray the Grasslands the best I can through my artwork, as I feel it's a region that's quite overlooked when it comes to uh, the conservation of the land. Starkevich works in three different styles, which include fine art studio pieces, field paintings, and erratic drawings. Here's an example of one here, and these pieces are created in oil and acrylic paints back home in my studio. The other two pieces you'll see in this show are uh, what I call plein air paintings, also referred to as field paintings, and they are paintings that I do in oils on canvas and masonite panels. So the erratics are smaller, large boulders that are scattered all over the prairies left behind by the last ice age, and I create these drawings of them. Starkevich says he wants his work to focus on the positive aspects of wildlife conservation. This painting depicts swift fox, which are a fox species here in the grasslands region, and the title for this painting is Beating the Odds, and I decided to title this painting, to give this painting this title, because the story about the swift fox is a conservation success story. The Nature Center says the exhibition has been especially popular with visitors. I think uh, the, the realism accurately captures a lot of those finer details and, and that subtle beauty. Colin also has done a great job of layering in sort of multiple different senses experiences. So we do have uh, an audio component that really does allow you to immerse yourself as if you were out in the grasslands uh, checking out some of these really cool animals. The Grassland Series display will be open to the public until December at the Helen Schuler Nature Center. For Bridge City News, I'm Micah Quinn.